Hey guys, today I'm going to try out the Physicians Formula Cushion Corrector and Primer Duo. These really caught my eye because of the crazy colors, not only on the outside of the packaging, but if you take a look at the box, it shows you that the cushion is actually yellow and green to counteract redness, and then this one is purple and peach to counteract darkness and dullness on the skin. So I'm going to try these before applying a foundation. I don't know, this might be a fail because I don't really have anything aside from a little bit of redness uh, in some areas and then maybe under my eyes might be able to use some correcting, but I'm hoping that if these work for me, then maybe people that have more serious issues to conceal like rosacea or quite serious under eye circles, then maybe it will help you guys. The packaging is pretty extra. It's in this cushioned uh, matte plastic container. It is cool that the packaging really clearly indicates what shades are inside. Uh, I love cushion products, so let's try this out. I've got this one here. Oh, cute. The applicator looks like a, a brushy sponge. That's what it looks like up close. Then you've got the clear lid and you can place the applicator there. This is the green one. This one has a green and yellow applicator and it's more like a green and orange in there. Anyway, the first thing that I noticed is really cool. I had thought it was just simply cute that these match the shades, but it's actually good because now you can dip in and remember which side had which color on it. So you're not going to muddle them up. So the peach one brightens darkness and that's what I'm... Oh, what the hell? It's really hard. Well, not that hard, but like harder than I expected. Get in there. <sighs> cool. Pop that up under the eye. It looks barely peach in there. I should also mention that this product on the Ulta website claims to be airbrushing, blurring, as well as correcting, and it does have SPF in it. It's not as pigmented as I thought. I honestly thought it would be like too pigmented. The applicator is stiff, like it has some kind of cardboard in it, so it's not easy to get in around those areas around my eye. It looks minorly better on this side than that side. Now I can take some of the purple one on the purple side. And I'll put that here on the side of my mouth. Lavender is meant to brighten your dullness. I don't think I have dullness. Do I have dullness? I'm seeing a lot more pigment in this one. So if you have dullness and this is something that you want to correct, I think this is good. Let's move on to the green one. So green, as we know, is good for getting rid of redness. Have a bit of redness on the edge of my face here. And here, we have a little pimple. An uninvited guest. It's not very easy to spot correct because of how big this thing is. Might put it around my nose. Again, the peach side does darkness. So I'll put that here and up under the eye. Because I need to have a primer on my forehead, I'm gonna put some all the way up here. I do think my skin looks a little bit smoother. I can see that the darkness under my eyes has been brightened a bit and also around my mouth. I feel like a bit of the redness is a little bit less visible. I do feel shiny though. Now I'm going to move on to foundation. Trusty old double wear. Almost forgot the name. I'm using my Sigma 3D HD to blend that in. I don't want to move around the color correcting that I've done so I'm using padding motions with a sponge rather than a brush. The texture of my skin looks really nice. It looks good under foundation. Obviously it was a really faint layer of color correcting and this is like a good coverage foundation. So it didn't conceal my pimple, but it did conceal like just the all over paleness and dullness under my eyes. So I've popped on the rest of my makeup just for the sake of life. And I will be back in a couple of hours to show you how this wears. I think my skin looks 
flawless. I'm really happy with how it came out. Of course, this is a great foundation, but it is quite dry on me. So I don't actually think it would have come out this well without the primer, but the biggest thing for me with primers is that they make sure I don't get oily. So after uh, three or four hours, I'm going to check back, see how it's going and let you know what I think. Okay, I'm back. It's been like five hours. I mean, I've been running around like a headless chook trying to get work done and cleaning up and it maintained really well. I think my skin looks very nice. Again, I didn't have a major amount of discoloration, but I think as a primer, it does work well. But I mean, I'm happy with this and I think I would wear it again, especially because these are great for traveling because they, they won't spill. So on Ulta, these are, where the fuck, $10.19. Mark down from $16.99. In Australia, the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Foundation version is $30, $29.95. So if it does come into Australia, it will, prob it will probably be about $29.95. But at the moment, it's only in the United States as far as I can see, and probably Canada. Cool guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you soon.